movies. And so Atomic Blonde is the movie starring Charlie's Theron. I believe it comes out this Friday, tomorrow, in fact. And everybody keeps touting this as the female James Bond. This is the movie that's going to showcase the female James Bond. Now, after watching some promotional materials for this and not watching the movie itself, I think I'm qualified to make a judgment whether or not this will be a female James Bond movie. And now, Brendan, you saw the trailers, right? Kind of, yes. I saw them. I did see he trailers. Saw them. He saw them. I he saw didn't hear them, and he just saw them. So, but yeah. So Charlie's Theron. If you want to know a little bit about uh, Atomic Blonde, Charlie's Theron. If I have not proposed marriage to her in, I think it's like the year or two. I did on the show before, but I would just like to reissue that um, proposal and say that I'm here for you. You know, I'm really good at massaging feet. I'm told, and good back rubs. You know, and. It's and here's the bonus that you start with feet there, Brian. Come on, man. Like, that's a nice thing to do for somebody. Like, uh, okay, don't, don't it. like, that's not what I was. No, 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 you're first. taking it to the <laughs> awkward place. I am not. All right. I am not taking it to the awkward place. I, I'm just talking about something nice to do for somebody. But Charlize, like, honestly, and think about this. Just think about it. If you want to break up with me, all you have to do is throw a pie in my face. Like, amazing. Amazing, right? Like, and if not, I would date you could just, just give Brian a maybe. Face. You could just like oh, give Brian yeah, a maybe a to this whole situation. And then we'll talk about our Brian's baby love life, which yes, is a different segment that our, our Vidme viewers get. So if you don't know what the hell we just went on a rant from, watch one of our Vidme videos and you'll figure it out. But so Charlize Theron plays this, this badass slash special slash secret slash assassin slash ninja slash ninja assassin. Okay, she maybe she doesn't play all those things. But she just plays a really cool character, it seems like. It, it, she's she's uh, a secret thing. agent that can kick some butt. Let's just put it that way. She can kick some butt. And everybody has been saying that this is it. This is our female version of James Bond. They were never going to give you an actual female playing as James Bond. So this is the closest we're going to get. And they try to play her off as, you know, smooth and debonair, but still can kick some butt. So... Let me just go down my list. I actually have two things, one for yes and one for no, and then I'll tell you what I really think this movie is going to be. So, yes, she could be a female James Bond because there's plenty of moments in there where she's acting incredibly smooth and debonair, and it seems like she's very cunning and crafty, and and James Bond is not necessarily a physical specimen except for the Daniel Craig one. Um, he usually thinks his way out of things. Yeah, he throws a couple punches here and there, but he usually thinks his way out of things and or uses talks his way out of things. Huh? And he uses his gun. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, he shoots people too, yeah. yeah, and gadgets and stuff. And it almost seems like that's we they they did want to go out of their way to show that that's what Charlize Theron's going to do. She's going to think her way out of a lot of situations. She's going to be crafting and uh, crafty, crafting. She, this isn't Skyrim. She's not going to make a sword, but um, she's going to be crafty. Isn't she? Isn't she? You don't know yet. <laughs> and smooth lines. It's true. I haven't seen the movie yet. So, but she's going to do all these things. Some very similar James Bond things and then i think about it and i think no this isn't going to be our female version of james bond because it just seems like it's almost more action oriented uh this might be more like a jet lee movie if you remember jet lee from the early 90s or jackie chan where yeah he gets into they get into issues but then they kind of fight their way out of it which is not a james bond-esque thing to do uh james bond yes he will escape impossible situations but it's more brain than it is brawn and it almost seems like at first they were trying to lure you in with, okay, it's going to be the brain. And then they're like, but there's all these, all these really cool over-the-top action sequences. So when I put it all together and I really think about what type of movie we're going to get, I really see this movie as more of a James Bond meets Mission Impossible. And those two fall in love and they have a love child. And that love child is called Atomic Blonde. And that's because <laughs> if you, if you look at, Mission Impossible, it's more the overtop set pieces, but still you have the gadgetry and stuff. Like those are complementing movies. And but it's a little more action. But I also think they're gonna ground it a little bit more with the smoothness and debonairness <clears throat> of James Bond. And that's kind of that's kind of what I expect us to get out of Atomic Bond. A, a kind of not quite a James Bond, maybe a James Bond with more action in it. Maybe uh, I guess you could say more of a Daniel Craig James Bond. I don't really like those as much as like the Sean Connery James Bond, but man, eh, that's neither here nor there. I I would say honestly, I think the the James Bond female James Bond idea with this movie, having again not seen the actual movie yet, it's looking pretty fair. At least the appeal seems like a fair uh, comparison. Or maybe more precisely, you want to say it's a female character that is heavily James Bond inspired. 
Um, yes. Like I almost feel like the character is inspired by James Bond and the movie's more inspired by like a Mission Impossible. It's so if that makes sense. Yeah, it's definitely it's all, she's her own character, Atomic mm-hmm. Blonde here. But mm-hmm. we can see a lot of similarities. It's not even just that what she's doing. She's an MI6 agent specifically. Oh, she is an MI6 yeah, agent. Yeah, so she's okay, an MI6 so. agent specifically. So, so she is, is she's literally British. the character is female <laughs> Bond. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She's she's working for the same agency. She's British. I don't think that there's anything about double O stuff, but there is stuff about other agents um, mm-hmm. involved. Well, like there James is a little McElroy's bit of, in this movie, and he looks like he's going to be pretty cool it, in it, it. So it looks like they're going to go with a bit of sexualization going on at, at parts. How serious they're going to do? But that that's yeah, but a they trope do that in James, James Bond. Bond. That's what I'm that's saying. Totally that's a James Bond, that's yeah. a no, what I'm saying like that is a similarity yeah, yeah, to James exactly, Bond. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's going to have her action and and you know try to kill people and and do things in creative ways. You, you see in like the the car scene how she thinks through things, like you said, and mm-hmm. uh, figures out to to grab onto the seatbelt right before the thing uh, that is not on her, but right before it um it flips, flips over and crashes while yeah. she's using her sh- the heel of her shoe to try and like kill the guy and do whatever else yeah. i mean honestly like i, I yes there I, is I, that mission I've impossible never vibe worn too. heels but i know that those can't be easy to walk in and if you can kick somebody yeah. in the face wearing high heels more power to you more power to you but it, it, yeah again it, but like you said it really feels to me like what I would think is, like I said, a baby between Mission Impossible and James Bond, or you could think of it as throwing James Bond into a Mission Impossible plot. Uh, so it, it, that's just kind of the feel, the grandiose, the big action set pieces, the the really cool choreography and everything like that, but yet the cool, smooth-talking main character. So I'm actually really excited to see this movie, not only because my future wife is in it, Charlie's there on, but because it looks like a good movie yeah, like, looks like a pretty this cool is idea. actually kind of if you had asked me when we were doing our female Jam- james bond speech like this is kind of what i would like to see this is not doing the same thing as the male james bond but taking it and changing it a little bit without losing the core uh of what makes those movies fun so i, I think that's what we're gonna get i'm excited to see it i will hopefully go out and see it probably not this weekend but maybe next weekend you never know like, well, it doesn't Spider-Man come out till the 20th right it right. doesn't come out to the 28th, maybe in, in a couple weekends. That's, and uh, uh, yeah. So I guess that actually works better for me. So the weekend of the 28th, my butt will be in a theater seat. Yep. That's what I meant to say. So, but hit us up. Let us know what you, what you think. Are you excited to see this uh, or not? Uh, do you think this will be the female James Bond we've always been looking for? Or are we just kind of wrong on that? Um, but hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us, but let's keep 